What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac. I'm going to show you how to use a cool piece of software called Paul's Extreme Sound Stretch. This is the app right here. It allows you to take audio files and stretch them into extraordinarily large files, long files, I should say. Um, not just a few extra seconds, but up to like years and years and years. So to show you how it works, I'm going to use this little clip. a track I did with Super Kid. Um, so let's take a look at Paul Stretch. I have it inside now and basically this bar here tells you how much we're going to stretch it by. Right now it's at 8 times and you can move this thing up to 20, 60, 10,000 times. It will take 14 days to play. This is just one mode and then you can go into hyper stretch mode which will let you stretch this thing until it would take you uh, three millenniums and 840, whatever, so long to listen to this audio file. Ridiculous. But um, let's just uh, start with something small so you can kind of hear what it does to the track. And this is that same clip we heard before. Stretched about 12 times. It's taking a long time. Let's stretch it a little more. About 67 times. It's going to take you 2 hours and 15 minutes to listen to this clip here. That is only about two minutes long to begin with. And we can really go nuts and stretch it into a 50 year long sound file. And as you can hear, that might be a little over the top, but um, you can get some interesting effects depending on how much you want to stretch it. Um, you can click on this process tab and then do certain things like filter out certain frequencies. You can do sort of a low pass here. Bring this down to maybe 11k. Cut off some of that high end stuff. Play around with how much you want to stretch it. I kind of like something like this. There seems to be a lot of evolution to the sound and movement. I'm going to stick with about almost nine times slower. And I'm going to record this into Ableton Live. Okay, so now we have the audio here. This is the super stretched. We're going to just give it a listen right now. Um, we will just bring this a little bit closer. Here we go. <laughs> Now we have something kind of fun to work with here. Very atmospheric. I especially like this section right here. To do is just copy that, and I'm gonna loop this part right here. Okay. So, so, I mean, you can leave this as it is and use this as a piece on its own, adding effects as you please. Um, one thing I have done to this track is I put a compressor on. I have a beat. And I'm going to just turn this compressor on. The 
side chain to the kick drum. So this is ducking a little bit every time the kick drum hits. And I mean, there we have like something we could play around with. So that's just one option. Um, next thing, what I'd like to do is take a look at our little track here, and I'm just going to do a little slice to MIDI. I'm going to sample this by, we'll say, eighth notes. Okay, maybe not eighth. We'll do fourth. And now we have an instrument we can play around with. And we will just stop this track. And we'll start our beat up again. And now we can play around with this. Now we got something with a little rhythm. This could be the basis of a new idea. It'd be very simple to just keep going and keep adding new parts. And uh, one final thing I would suggest that you could do here with this is we'll take our um, stretch thing here and um, I'll just drop this into a sampler. So I'm going to make a new track here, and right here we're going to go find our sampler instrument, put it right there, and I'm just going to grab our little stretch and drop it in here, chord enable it, and then now we have this to play with. So again, I'll start our beat up. to hold down these notes the more they evolve and change it just gives you some kind of creative possibilities for your sound design just to kind of give you something fun to play with I've uh, racked up a few things here for you to enjoy with this download um, we got this one instrument using the sampler I'll make a simpler version as well now the way I have this set up is that um, you know, you can play down chords and it gets a little messy because there's a lot of material going on here. But um, I have it set so that I'm modulating the sample start of this particular instrument so that every time I'm hitting the same key, but you'll notice it starts out differently. So this can just be useful for like getting sort of random ideas down. Um, It's all just hitting one key, kind of rhythmically. Um, could be something fun to play with. Again, I've got this one where we can just take different bits of the sample with every hit. You know, that sounds similar to some things you can play around with from my glitch machine slicing preset. Um, that's all there for you. And also, last but not least, um, it's nothing too major, it's just three drum sounds, but if you like them, you can play with them here, so. You can play with their delay and reverb. So three little things for you to play around with. Highly recommend Paul Stretch, it's a fun uh, 
different kind of way to get some new soundscape going. So enjoy. <laughs> 